Hello guys, my name is Amin and today I'm going to show you the new command line introduced by Microsoft. Actually in the past we used to have you know the old shell or the old command prompt called CMD. So you go to your start menu, run, and you tap CMD and what you get is black and white command prompt but actually this command prompt is a little bit uh, primitive and uh, it has limited access to the windows settings and also it's uh, more difficult to handle so Microsoft decided to create a new shell and it's called PowerShell this new one is written in the .NET uh, language so it's based on the .NET framework so the first step is to install it so you go to the Microsoft site okay type www.microsoft.com slash powershell okay and after that uh, you can go to the download section of the page if it's coming <laughs> sometimes the connection is uh, slow okay okay so in the download section you can see here there is a link to the download of PowerShell you just click on it and after that uh, you will see a lot of links a lot of downloads corresponding to the corresponding operating system so almost at the end of the page you will find downloads here corresponding to every platform so here is download for Windows Server 2003 so of course as we use uh, Windows XP we have to choose this one okay download it it's pretty forward so I already downloaded it so actually it's a wizard you just click next 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 and uh, you get your stuff done after that you will notice that uh, if you go to your Windows folder here under the system 32 folder new folder has been created it's called Windows PowerShell and inside that folder you will found the program our program called PowerShell so I just created a link over here so here it is okay so this is the new shell from Microsoft Windows PowerShell so I'm going to show you some comments. Actually, we call them command let. So I'm going to show you some uh, basic uh, commands that you can use in order to to get in touch with it. Okay, so let's get started. So first stuff you will notice that all all the old commands that are used in the old shell are actually also working under this uh, new shell so let's begin by for example the most used comment is dire so dire is still working you get a list of all your files and folders so now I'm going uh, to show you the new commands that we can use under this new shell actually all the commands are divided into two parts the first part is a verb part so we, you can find the get, set uh, and test invoke all, the, uh, all verbs then a dash then a noun and under noun you can find a lot of nouns like services, processes, a lot of things so to get the list of, of all the comments you just type get comment okay you can see there are a lot of commands that you can use so test command test uh, path t 
Twenty. There's a lot of comments here. If you want to uh, to display the comments that only begin with, for example, let's say with get, you type just get comments and get with the wild card. So you can find here the comment type, its comment let, its name, and its definition. So every command actually is an object that you can use with the parameters. Okay. So as we already said, the command there has been replaced but by a new command called get child item. So get child item is new command actually that replaced the tire so it, sh it will display the same output as the tire command but but uh, it's actually an object so uh, it can uh, show you a lot of things a lot of features let's say for example we want to display only the text files so all you have to do is to type get child item so all the files but let's just include the text files and voila you get all the text files you can even access the registry with that command get child item registry 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 ok and let's access the key local machine for example software soft 